YouTube family. The original Grow and Bree bringing you some zombies gameplay um, here on the new DLC map, Derizen Draha. We, um, we couldn't go the first night without figuring out how to pronounce this particular um, name of the map. So we ended up looking it up and that is what I believe Google Translate or something like that said that this is supposed to be pronounced as. Now let me say this real quick before I get into the commentary because this is something that I tell myself to say in every single video and I and I always forget and it's always at a point where it can no longer be added in. So um, let me just knock this out. Follow me on Twitter or at the very least if, if you don't use Twitter or, or something like that. I have plenty of room on my friends list so add me at grown underscore B. Uh, you may have to use a capital B, I'm not entirely sure, but um, make sure that you do that because what I do is I live stream um, almost every night and um, I want to live stream more. Um, I, I want to be able to get times where, I'm, where I can you know, send out a tweet maybe on the weekends or days where I have um, the daytime to myself and say, hey, you know what, I'm about to stream, you know, maybe zombies or I'm, I'm going to stream a little bit of multiplayer or something like that. And I want you all, if you're interested in watching some of these things, um, especially because those can get fun, especially interacting with uh, with viewers in, in real time as they, you know, checking out your gameplay and and a lot of times, you know, you just get cool moments when you're playing with your friends and, you, and you're partied up and, you know, you hear, you know, how different people interact and play together. And it, it may be different from how you play with your friends. And and it, it, it can be fun, honestly. Um, my biggest thing is trying to interact with the viewers as much as possible. And there is no way to interact more than, than interacting in real time um, during a live stream. So follow me on Twitter at Fullerfied. It's always in the description. Or add me on PlayStation. That way um, I can start getting consistent time where I say, hey guys, this is when I'm going to be streaming. Then I can interact with you guys a whole lot more. And that is one of my ultimate goals as a YouTuber, that, that regardless of how many subscribers or views or comments I'm getting, that I can interact as much as possible with my viewers because you make videos for viewers. I, I, I have a hard time understanding how some YouTubers are, are rude or are um, dismissive to their viewers. And that's just such a surprise to me. It's like, what are you doing this for? Are you literally doing this for, for ad money? Like, come on, there's gotta be another reason why you, you know, make videos. So I wanna be able to interact with you all as much as possible. Another thing is the reason why I'm calling um, attention to the fact that I live stream is because I really genuinely enjoy playing zombies. But what happens is zombies isn't as concrete as multiplayer. It's not like I can say, oh, I got a good game here. Um, I can use this for a commentary because zombies can last, you know, 45 minutes, you know, an hour, sometimes three hours long. Um, so you really can't take a zombies game and, um, and really just make a commentary out of it. Um, there's a lot of times like what I did before you can make like little compilations of of cool things um, that that are done in a zombies game but I mean you can really only get so much of that before it just kind of gets dull and gets boring in, in its own right um, so I want to be able to live stream zombies you kind of just see how I play how we set things up and I like to go for little challenges I'm not I'm not like every other zombies player like sometimes they just want to find all the Easter eggs and stuff like that I just kind of set personal challenges for myself like right now I'm trying to get to a point where I get like where I, where I have a thousand headshots in a particular game or or I'll try to get the highest headshot ratio possible um, I usually hover around like 70 80 percent of my kills or headshots and I want that to be like 95 like 900 fucking headshots on a thousand kills I know that's gonna be difficult but it's just stuff like that that I want to be able to um, stream and just kind of show you guys and, and it just achieve different milestones um, just kind of together like that so that's another reason why I'm just kind of calling attention to say hey 
You know what? Um, zombies is probably gonna be the only time you're really gonna see. I mean, um, live stream may be the only time you'll really get to see zombies on my channel. So I want y'all to be able to check out those streams. And I'm not saying I'm never gonna make a zombies video, cause you know, obviously I'll be making some here and there. Because hey, it's it's a great great game mode. Treyarch really hit the nail with this one. So um, you will see it, but. I just wanted to call attention to to my live streams for for that reason. It, it's an avenue for me to upload um, a game mode that I truly, truly enjoy and, and one of my favorite game modes in Call of Duty. Um, period. Anyway, I got a couple of minutes here, and I wanted to talk about who you play with, how you play, and what are your goals uh, when you play. Um, are you just trying to have fun with your friends? Are you trying to win? Um, are you trying to meet new people to play with? And um, I came to the conclusion that w when it comes to trying to win, or even when it comes to having fun, you gotta play with people that you have um, good chemistry with. I've been, uh, I've had instances where I've just kind of gotten like the best, like like people with the best KDRs, like all together, and we would go out and get destroyed. And it, like I, it's I'm guessing it's because you know what our play styles just don't complement each other, and you know that's fine. Uh, just find people who who you want to play with, who want to play with you, who um, who you just have decent chemistry with, because um, a, a lot of times it's it's not about just trying to get together some of the best players. It's not trying to. Um, just see who all has the best score per minute. See who all has the highest KDRs. So let's get together and we should we should be able to dominate. No, it's not about that. And a lot of times when you do that, you're probably not going to have as much fun either. Um, so I'm just kind of recommending that to you all. If you got friends that you play with, you know, regardless if they're really really good or not, um, just make sure you're having fun. Just make sure y'all play well together. I have a, a, a team of guys who, who, I think only one of us is like good. Um, his name is Chance. He's the only one who I, I legitimately feel like is good at the game. Um, and then me and my other friends, I, I feel like we're just kind of a little bit above average, but we don't, we don't put like our effort into trying to be really, really good at this game. But we also do well as a team. And I feel like having good chemistry together and playing with people that you want to play with um, that's going to get you more success than trying to do a LeBron James. I mean, I know this is going to sound like really cliche, but I understand that you that you play this game and you want to win. Everybody wants to win, but above that, above that is you want to have fun. And if you're if you're playing with people that that don't give a fuck about you because you feel like they're gonna help you get a victory or you're playing with people that you don't give a fuck about because you feel like they're gonna bring you a victory then you're probably not gonna have as much fun than you would if you're just playing with people that you genuinely enjoy playing with so anyway let me know what y'all think about the commentary do everything that i said at the beginning the original grown b is out see you later